Call them quirky, eccentric, or just plain weird, but sometimes the best ideas and inspirations come from unique places. This is Reacher, and today we're bringing you 15 of our favorite unusual house designs. Number 15. Built over the course of 14 years and purchased by Pierre Cardon in 1992, the Bubble Palace was originally designed to mimic the cave dwellings of early man. Located in the south of France on a rocky cliff overlooking the Bay of Cannes, this 13,000 square foot six-level mansion includes several open lounge areas, 10 guest suites, three swimming pools, and a 500-seat amphitheater. The house is currently for sale by Christie's International for a rumored $355 million. Number 14. This next entry, located right outside Mexico City, looks like it's straight out of a Lewis Carroll novel. The curved walls and ceiling of this shell-shaped design are integrated with hundreds of small rainbow-colored stained glass windows that provide an almost psychedelic natural light to the flower-shaped couches in the surrounding garden areas. The open floor plan of the house has stone staircases and walkways spiraling out from the ground floor. Moving further into the shell brings you to the rest of the house, which includes a kitchen with a wall-attached dining table and a living room with a spiral couch and TV mounted in a center column. Considering how cool this one looks, you have to wonder why anyone would consider living in a pineapple under the sea. Number 13. Travel into the Wapiti Valley and you'll find what appears to be a normal stretch of Wyoming hillside with a log home rising out of the landscape. Take a longer look and you'll find the seemingly normal home is anything but. What started as an everyday project by Lee Smith to provide a home for his family became an obsession for the builder which led to his divorce and ultimately his death. Built from locally harvested materials, the spur-of-the-moment designs include a total of five floors with winding staircases, random balconies and terraces, a crow's nest, and an oversized wind chime. Smith died in 1992 when he fell from an upper floor while working. Since then, the house has sat abandoned but is currently on the market for $750,000. Number 12. This single-family home in Austria is one that M.C. Escher himself could be proud of. The first thing that stands out is how well it blends in with the surrounding scenery, a small feat due to the facade of the house being completely covered in green astroturf. The next thing that catches your eye are the many external staircases that seem to have no purpose and lead to nowhere. Along with this are windows and doors suspended horizontally across other windows to serve as handrails. Internally, you will also find the odd item, such as a door above the staircase, that doesn't and shouldn't ever be open. For the most part, though, this home resembles any other normal one, having the usual bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, and living room. Number 11. This house in Olala, Washington, is known as Snow White's Cottage. The dwelling sits on seven and a half acres, surrounded by greenery that gives it a feeling like actually being in a forest setting. The four-bedroom, four-and-a-half bath structure was created from a wire mesh covered in plaster making for a surreal side as none of the rooms are perfectly square. Handmade doors ensure no two are alike while hand-carved wooden beams and stained glass windows add to the storybook effect. The roof extends down almost to the ground which is covered in rocks that are stained in multiple colors. The house is currently on the market for $775,000. If you want to build a crazy house, but your significant other says no, then settle for watching other people's efforts by tapping that subscribe button and clicking that bell icon to stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Number 10. This Swiss home overlooking Lake Zurich almost seems out of place among the more traditional homes surrounding it. The fluid design resembles a ribbon folding in on itself, creating a home offering 1,862 square feet of living space within its four levels. Each floor has an open plan allowing maximum use of each space while also taking advantage of the abundance of natural light streaming through the floor-to-ceiling windows that run the length of the house. The incorporated double height space provides a view through to the above floor or down to the living area below with access to all of the floors provided by a centrally located spiral staircase. 
Large wood decks on the ground floor and top floor complement the steel and glass structure, providing almost uninterrupted views of the surrounding lake. Number 9 Commissioned by the founder of Etnies, this private residence is a skateboarder's ultimate dream home. The design is a ribbon which creates a continuous surface that can be skated from the outside to the inside. The fluid space integrates the floor, ceiling, and walls seamlessly to allow skating on any of the surfaces, including the standalone furniture. The only caveat to all this is figuring out how to get your friends to leave at the end of the day. Number 8 you ever have those days when you wish there was a button on your remote that would move your house? Apparently this guy did, and he made it happen. Northeast of Prague in the Czech Republic is the Roundabout House. A small glass door in the hillside leads into a concrete-walled room resembling a botanical garden. Centrally located within this is a swimming pool and a huge metal pillar which is the basis for the house's ability to not only raise up and down, but also rotate. Above this are the living quarters, which can be accessed via a spiral staircase. In addition to ever-changing views is the added benefit of using the thermal mass of the surrounding earth to regulate the internal temperature of the structure. Number 7 Outside of Lubbock, Texas, on a ridge overlooking the Lake Ransom Canyon is a structure called the Steel House. Resembling a four-legged animal, the handmade structure offers 2,200 square feet of internal space spread out over three levels. Access is via a gangplank-style walkway, which leads to a surrealistic interior consisting of uneven floors and walls that twist and turn into each other. Open living areas appear even more so due to the large curving picture windows located throughout. The house has sat unfinished and unoccupied since the death of its owner in 2008, becoming a tourist attraction for the curious. Number 6 Located in northern Portugal, this architectural monument known as Casa de Pinedo, or the Stone House, gets its name from the four massive boulders that make up the structure. The only part of the exterior that isn't made from stone are the numerous windows in the door. Completed in 1974, the house has become a tourist attraction as it was once up for debate on whether it was real until a local news station did a segment on it. The furniture is made of stone and logs, with the couch made from a eucalyptus tree weighing around 770 pounds. Although it's located on a wind farm, surprisingly the house has always been without electricity. Number 5 What appears to be a shipping container style structure situated upon an artificial hill is actually an addition to an existing home. Although it looks separate from the home, the new addition is connected by a long hallway running the length of the property. This outside-the-box thinking has created a yard that almost becomes a part of the home on a functional level, serving both as an outside space while connecting the two structures. This new layout keeps the original house almost unchanged, employing it as an area for the children to play and sleep in, while the new structure has a living area and kitchen with a spiral staircase leading to the parents' bedroom. Number 4 This next entry is called the Mushroom House. And for those who are wondering, it's not edible, so don't get your hopes up. Made up of four 80-ton pods ranging in height from 14 to 20 feet, each one has an open floor plan which allows the whole living area to function as a flowing unit. The entrance opens to the first pod which houses a foyer, lounge area, and the kitchen, while the second pod contains the living and dining rooms. The remaining two pods house the main bedroom and bathing area, as well as the guest accommodations. There's also a main room for entertaining company, and a half pod which serves as a deck area to take in the views of the surrounding countryside. Number 3 This oddly cool home, inspired by the Flintstones, came about due to the building constraints implemented by the local conservancy. Sitting on almost 23 acres, the single-story freeform structure is modest having only one bedroom and two bathrooms. Composed of steel and concrete, the unique look of the exterior was created by scrubbing the stucco while it was still wet, providing a decomposed granite look. Giant glass window expanses allow for 360-degree views of the surrounding mountains, valleys, and the Pacific Ocean. Number 2 
This futuristic looking structure located in Israel is another one that definitely stands out among the more traditional houses. It's so unique that the architect had to develop and patent new building methods and techniques. The biomorphic house sits on a hillside 3,280 feet above the Mediterranean Sea. The multi-story dwelling offers an open floor design with curved flowing walls and extra high ceilings on each level. The oversized windows are covered with transparent photovoltaic cells connected to a zero emission power system capable of producing all of the electrical and heating needs for the house. Along with this, they add to the open feeling of the dwelling while providing panoramic views of the sea below. Number 1 As much as you may want to believe, this final entry, regardless of appearances, is not a crashed UFO. Located in France, the Heliodome is an example of bioclimatic solar architecture that gets its inspiration from a sundial by using calculated angles to take full advantage of the sun's energy. In the winter, the double glazed glass surface allows sunlight to flood the interior, capturing heat and creating natural light. In the summer, the roof creates shade, allowing minimal solar radiation to enter. This mix of free heating and cooling is a formidable solution to energy constraints and CO2 emissions. Compared to a conventional building, the Heliodome is expected to provide an impressive 80 to 90 percent in energy savings. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.